back, kids and coaches. I'm Coach Kent Murphy. We're back here on the uh, Kent Murphy Podcast. Going to give you a little breakdown of, uh, you know, what's happening around the MLB before we get into my interview with uh, James Karinchak here later. It's been a big week in the MLB. We got uh, everybody's hero, Joe Kelly. He got off his suspension, and uh, he went right on to the uh, IL, the 10-day IL. I don't know what his injury is, but I suspect maybe he broke his hand from punching Rob Manfred in the face. I don't know. That's just my guess. The Cardinals are back in action. They uh, Somehow they're in second place, and the NL Central played eight games. You know what I mean? So they won four games, and they're in second place. Yeah. Stop farting around at the casino. You know, you got uh, Aaron Judge out there just crushing dangers. Trout's got nine, too. I think old Tatis Jr., I think over, he's got nine as well. You know, so that's three people that are actually hitting dangers and doing the right thing. It'd be nice if somebody was in double digits by now. I mean, if I was playing, hell, I'd probably have like 30 or 40 by now. I don't know how many games are there played already, like 20. Something like that, 22, 28. Yeah, I'd probably be at like 60 by now, too. Depending on how many times, you know, they hit me with a pitch. I think the first guy would hit me with a pitch, and then I'd charge them out, and then everybody in the league would be like, well, I ain't doing that. Because you saw what happened to that pitch. Yeah, he's like, I ain't doing that. Hell no, I'm, you know, I ain't throwing him a curveball either. Because I, I guess I just, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to walk him. That's what they'd say. There's one team out there this week that really did it right, and that's the Chicago White Sox. They went uh, back to back to back to back with some dingers that's four in a row which is you know that's pretty good I mean I you know hell I remember you know I've gone my team did that once yeah yeah yeah. Uh, never mind that was just all me that was just all all my dingers yeah there they go I love watching them I'm telling you I do yeah that's good but the White Sox hit four in a row and that's gonna be our highlight of the week and we're gonna break it down so let's go ahead and take a look at uh what the White Sox did out here. You got uh, first batter here. Oh, that's a ding dong. Good Lord. Second guy comes up. New Jack City. There's another crush. Yeah, gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. There goes number three. Oh, baby. Hell, number four looked like he's about to hit. Yeah, that looked like a damn near foul ball. But he ran the bases anyway, which is the right thing to do. Go back to that one. Go back to that. And yeah, watch this. Watch this last one, man. He, I mean, that thing looked like it was foul. Yeah. Four in a row ain't bad, man. The only thing, you know, as, as it's looping here, the only thing I got a problem with, there goes one, two, three, four. Not one bat flip. Not one bat flip out of the whole bunch. But, uh, you know, all in all, a pretty good thing to do. Four, four dingers in a row. So that's your highlight of the week. Uh... You know, if you're if you're hitting back to back to back to back, uh, you can come on Kent's show. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, we do have a guest this week. Like I said, it's James Karinchak, uh, Cleveland Indians pitcher. You know, one of the few that didn't get sent home yet. So you know, but we're really hoping to see Clevenger and Plesac back there. You know, I mean, everybody, hell, everybody messes up, man. You know, it is what it is. You know, we'll get them back on the field. But while you know, while we're waiting on them. We got one of the best arms on their team right now. This guy's got 22 strikeouts, 0. 0.7, 0.079 ERA. I mean, he's just he's just flat out killing it out of the bullpen. And plus, you know, where's number 99? He's like old wild thing Rick Vaughn out there. You know what I'm saying? I talked to old Coach Lou Brown the other day. He was like, yeah, hell, I like that fireballer. You know what I mean? He throws strikes. Forget about the curveball, Ricky. You know, you don't have to worry about it with old James, man. He's throwing heat. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I got an interview with him coming up here. We'll see you guys next week on the pod. I got James Karimchak here with me today. James, how you doing, brother? Doing great, bro. How you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing – I'm always good. I'm hitting dingers. You know, just, just kicking ass at life pretty much. Can't beat that. <laughs> hey, man, you got yourself – you're having yourself a, uh, a little year here, man. I so saw you got a little .79 ERA, running those strikeouts up, feeling pretty good. Yeah, it's early yet, man. That stuff can uh, stuff can swing pretty fast being a reliever, so you know it's gotta gotta keep it going. What are you run? What are you running that fastball up to? You hitting a hundred yet? No, I never hit a hundred, man. I hope so, though. Hopefully, one day. I'll get you on my system. We'll get you a hundred by next week, man. Yeah, we'll see. You just gotta put. You just gotta pound some cheese dogs. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much all it is. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good diet right there. So you, this is officially your rookie year. It is pretty pr- pretty weird year to have a rookie year, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely odd, man. Only sixty games, kind of like a college season, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you you dominated like you did in college too, didn't? Aren't you? 
Uh, the season's not over yet again, man, but it's going all right right now. Well, you know, I just, I live in the now, brother. I just, you know, you're striking out people now. Let's talk about it. Yeah, it's going well now. But these hitters are what? great, man, so I've got to uh, keep trusting the process. What were you doing when they called you up last year? Do you remember? Uh, I was in, we were in the championship game in the international series against uh, the Tampa Bay Rays AAA club. We were in, uh, what was it? Carol Rock. Somewhere in. Right in North Carolina somewhere, and uh, I called him to the office, and uh, my manager told me I was going up. So, so yeah, that was it. Now, who's the first person you called? Uh, my dad. Yeah? Was he pretty excited? Yeah, he was revved up. Yeah? Yeah. Did you strike anybody out your first appearance? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do a little dance? You got? Do you have a strikeout dance? Uh, I don't have a strikeout, man. Man, you got to get it in there. They're always trying to pimp your home runs. You might as well show it. Shove it in their face when you strike them out, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. We'll see, man. Got to earn my stripes first, bro. Nah. That's, that's, it's like it's like prison, man. You just got to go in there and start whipping people's butts the first day. Let them know you're in charge. You know what I mean? Nah, not yet, man. <laughs> I think you could do it. You got to you toughen up, man. Anybody ever charge the mound on you? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, who, who, who you think... Uh, who would you be the most scared of if they charge the mound on you right now? Most scared? Probably uh, Framio Reyes. You don't think you could take him? It's a body, man. It's a big boy. It's <laughs> probably, two, probably 280 pounds of big human. So, I mean, they make weight class for a reason. So, but uh, you know, I definitely still give it a run, but I don't like my chances. Who, who do you think who, – who would charge the mound and you'd be like, yeah, I got this guy. This is going to uh, be easy. Cool. Uh, probably Mike Freeman. <laughs> yeah, he's a little guy, man. I'm gonna send this to him. I'm gonna please I'm gonna set it up. Please send it to him. <laughs> I will. Yeah, please. Yeah, have you have you thrown at anybody yet in the, in the big leagues? Have you ever been like, you know, I'm gonna hit this guy? Nah, not nah. Won't do that. You gotta start doing it, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> it makes the game more fun. <laughs> Joe Kelly threw a slider and got eight games, bro. So. There was slider well, up and got eight games suspension. Yeah, he struck a guy out too. It was great. Uh, didn't pitch for eight games though, bro. Well, but he's if he's a folk hero now though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely a you folk gotta, hero. You gotta, you gotta go for the big picture. <laughs> Team's a big picture, man. I got that picture. I got that picture of you back there. Kind of looks like you're, kind of looks like you're about to fight somebody in that one. You're like, bring it on, big guy. I think that was uh, I think that was after the Detroit game. I was pretty mad at myself. I went uh, I think I had a. Uh, just call a PFP right back to me. The catcher running down the line. I airmailed it, so pretty revved up there. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's a that's a better time than any to just go and fight somebody. You know, take it out. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying, man. You know, rev rev the next pitch up to about a hundred, and you know, steal his girlfriend if you got to. <laughs> Not in my style, bro. Did you ever uh, did you ever hit dingers when you were younger? Uh, a couple. Back in my prime. What position did you play? Uh, I played a little third base, shortstop, right field. Okay. What was your favorite? Probably, mm, probably third base. Yeah, you a little hot corner over there. That's, That's a good spot to be. Yeah. What about you, bro? Where'd you play? Well, I, I mean, I, I dominate every position, but I'm mostly a DH. Yeah. I don't like to. I don't like to waste my energy out there on the field. You know what I mean? You DH the middle league. Oh, oh yeah. Said, that's impressive. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I told I the coach, I said, I ain't playing the field. Yeah. I mean, I will. Who'd you uh, Who'd you hit for if you DH some early? Uh, I pretty much was like all-time hitter. I just went up and down the order. Whoever I felt like that day, I was like, well, you suck, so I'm batting for you today. I picked. He had, a home <laughs> yeah, run every, I mean? he had a home run every time? Every damn at bat, man. Why'd you stop playing, bro? I, I didn't. I'm still going, man. I'm dominating <laughs> leagues all over America. Yeah, you playing I'll, come, I'll, come, I'll come hit a dinger off you right now if you want. I can't. Uh, I like my odds there, bro. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. I like, I'll my, come I like, out. I like my odds there. And I ain't, I ain't no Freeman either. I'll come out to the mound. I'll win that fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you come out after a punch? I might. Uh, Depends how many cheese dogs I had that day. You know what I mean? I get a little cranky if I don't have enough. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does, man. So when did you when did you when did you stop playing the field and just be like yeah I'm just gonna go strike people out now 
You stopped uh, hitting dingers, and you're like, well, I'm just going to go serve them up now. Uh, what you call it? I stopped, uh, well, uh, in college, I went to be a PO. I wasn't, I mean, I only hit, like, I wasn't the best hitter in high school, so. Unfortunately, I had to hang up the bat in college. And just start whipping fastballs? Yeah, try to. I'm, I'm fine with that, man. I'm fine with that. Uh, we got to pay for this episode, so uh, I got some ads. I was talking to my ad people. Yeah. And I was like, oh, James is coming on. Hell, we got, and I got to talk to one of my main sponsors. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Walks. No, I'm not talking about the thing where a pitcher can't throw strikes and you get a free base. I'm talking about when a pitcher throws you a strike, you hit it about 600 feet and take your time walking around the bases. They just served you up a free dinner and you got to let them know how bad they suck. Walks. Stop running and tell them what time it is. <laughs> Today's episode of the Ken Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Fastballs. If you're like me, you don't have time to watch slow-ass curveballs and change-ups get demolished by hitters. And that's why I only throw fastballs. It lets the batter know whose boss has a whizzes by them. Or you can just throw it at them and pray they come out to the mound and take their medicine. Fastballs is off-speed stuff for losers. That's right, man. Fastballs that's only. <laughs> that's we good got stuff. Time. Okay, we got time to you know watch a curveball hang up there and just get hit 300,000 feet, you know? And you're an you're off-speed hitter? Hell, I... Yeah, I, old Eddie Harris, he threw me one of them. Uh, he threw me one of them Vaseline balls. I'll still hit that out. I gotta ask you, since you're pretty much the wild thing now, yeah. you're pretty much the actual real life wild thing. Ninety nine, wearing number ninety nine, and I saw old Charlie Charlie Sheen. Uh, he reached out to you. Did you get to talk to him? Uh no, I didn't get to get to talk to him yet. And he said he passed you the torch. You, you think? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure. I didn't even know he still had a torch that was burning to give to anybody, but. Uh, it was pretty cool, man, for him to say that. I mean, I, I enjoyed reading that that message. You think you could throw it faster than old Rick Vaughn? Uh, I don't know, man. He uh, he pumped up to a hundred, I think, right? Hundred one. I think, yeah, I think so. I heard I he was one. actually, I heard he was actually throwing like eighty five in real life. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's it ain't bad for a washed up old actor. You know what I mean? That's impressive. But yeah, yeah. I mean, hope, hopefully one day I can hit a hunch, but find out. You get it up to ninety five yet? Yeah, I got up there a couple times. Yeah, yeah, well, you're you're good. You'll be there in no time, man. <laughs> yeah, we can we can put five on today. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy as hell. I I gotta ask you, you know, since you're the wild thing, is uh, do you guys actually have that cardboard cutout of Rachel Phelps, the owner of the dugout? I do not. No, uh, she's not naked yet. That's too bad. I'm gonna send one. I'm gonna send one of your guys' way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Tell old Coach Lou Brown out there start ripping the ripping the pieces off. What's your favorite baseball movie? Probably Benchwarmers. <laughs> That's a good one, man. Yeah, makes me laugh. Which uh, which which player are you on the Benchwarmers? Hopefully not any of them. Yeah, well, that's probably a pretty good goal to shoot for. <laughs> yeah. What about you, bro? There. Uh, well, you know, I'm a major league guy, number one. Yeah. So I was pretty stoked to talk to Rick Vaughn. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, you don't got the leather jacket with the cutoff sleeve, so that was kind of disappointing. I think you gotta, you gotta go get yourself one of those. Yeah, I gotta earn that, man. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You just go buy one, cut the <laughs> sleeves off. Yeah, might be out of style nowadays. But... <sighs> Not if you bring it back. That's true. I can't argue that. You think you could hit a dinger right now off a major league pitcher? No, I don't. I don't think so. Do you ever do you ever try it in batting practice? Just try to try to rip a couple out. No, nah, we don't get to take BP. Huh. You got to change that. You got to, well, just wear a disguise. You can like Bobby Valentine and put a fake mustache on. Yeah. Be like, maybe. no, it's, it's me, Francisco Lindor. I'm here to hit. Yeah, hopefully next year, if we, uh, if like the league opens back up and I can take some BP, see what I got. See what that's I what, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. You think you can still pop one out of there? Uh, how, many swing, how, many, how many swings do I got? I'll give you 10. I still got a chance, yeah. Yeah, I can go yeah. out. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, what about how you got ten now? I get, I get, I probably get eleven actually. Yeah, when was the last time you took BP on a big league field? Uh, on a big league field? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's the little league field, so. <laughs> well, uh, four to big 46. to me. <laughs> they ain't little. That, that fence, I that those videos I put out. That fence is, I don't know, five hundred and twelve feet, I think, and left yeah. uh, something that's... like that, about six hundred in the alleys. <clears throat> yeah, my depth perception must be off. Yeah, it's it's camera tricks. Yeah, I like to make everybody feel like they can have a chance. You know what I mean? 
but they can't. That's good though. Who's your Who's your favorite Who's your favorite team growing up? I was a Yankee fan growing up. Oh, that's too bad. Who's What's your that? favorite player? Uh, probably Pettit. Andy Pettit or Brian Pettit Bell. could pitch, man. Pettit was a good pitcher. Yeah, he was a dog, man. Yeah. Who's your favorite hitter? Going up, probably. Honestly, probably A Rod or Jeep. Yeah, that's too. Do who do you think would have won if uh you remember, you remember when Clemens threw the bat at yeah. Old Piazza? Who do you think wins that fight? If they actually got into it. I don't know, man. That's two big dogs right there. Uh, it's too, well, Piazza had that little pencil mustache, though. That's strike yeah. one. I don't know, man. That's a, I've, been, I've been a dog fight. Uh, but I'm going, I'm going the rocket, man. Picking the rocket. <laughs> I mean, as, as fast as he used to whip that ball, you got to think he could probably throw a nice overhand right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I would think so. Yeah, he's, a, <laughs> he's a body. Yeah. yeah. He's a, he, I, I, I could probably take him, but, you know, I mean – you could say King Supreme, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that makes sense. You gonna keep that ERA down under one the whole the rest of the year? I'm trying my best, man. How many strikeouts you think you got? You're at 22 now. You think you can get to 100 by the end of the year? Uh, strike it out, bro. Find out at the end of the year. I think you could do at least. I think you did at least 120. <laughs> 120. Yeah, that's find out, man. What What are you shooting for? Uh, help my team win, bro. Get out, clean innings, throw up the uh, throw up the donuts out there. Keep us in the game. That's what I'm talking about. How do you feel about uh, how do you feel about the extra innings with the batter starting on second? You for it or against it? Uh, I mean, it's definitely a little different, but we both have the same opportunity, so it makes the games a little quicker in these odd times. So I guess uh, I guess it's all right. I I I, I kind of like it because like. That way, if I bat first in extra innings, we're guaranteed to be up by two, like immediately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's one yeah. unless, unless they hit me, which they probably will, because I yeah. talk a lot of crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. You play uh, softball at all, or you just play baseball? No? I mean, no, nah, I, I like to play, like, real sports, so I don't really mess around with the softball. <laughs> Although sorry. I do like to – I mean, they're tossing those balls about nine miles an hour. It is fun to go crank a couple every now and then. I'm saying, I thought they might have just some fast pitch softball leagues, though. Well, yeah, but now nah, I just play fast pitch baseball. The, <laughs> the, guys, the guys in my league don't pitch real fast, so. I was say, some, of those, some of those girls are nasty, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. They're but good. you know what? I go, I, go get, I go get W's wherever I can. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true. Can't argue you got to take the dub. You got to take the dub when they give it to you. How do they, how do they give you the dub? Well, they, they throw a pitch over the plate. You know what I mean? That's yeah. mistake number one. And is then there, number is there, two. Is there videos of you hitting, like, hitting, like, an actual pitcher or just a guy lobbing it? Oh, yeah. There's there's video of it. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I talked, to, I talked to Clevenger on the podcast before. He said he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna hit me with a fastball. I'm going to let him hit me with a fastball. That's fine. And that ain't even going to hurt. Yeah. yeah. definitely hurt. <laughs> nah. Yeah, well, I guarantee that. Do you ever do you ever take a do you ever take a nice fastball off the, off the old back or something? Oh yeah, back in my prime, back about 13, 14 years, fifteen years. I don't think I really got hit much in high school. Did you, Boy, did you charge the mound? Uh, that's you're doing it wrong, man. You got to go out there every time. <laughs> every time. Uh, Plus, it's like a free day off at that point. That's that's a good way to ruin a game quick. Charge the mound, a travel ball game. Sure is a lot of fun though. And when was the last time you did it? Uh, twice today. Twice today. Who'd you face? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some guy named Steve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he works down the... at the auto body shop. He sucks at pitching. Where was the game at? Uh, down at the field. What field? Uh, it was Kent Murphy Field, I think is what it was called. Kent Murphy Field, yeah. Yeah, mo- most of them around my area have been named after me. Yeah, all, all 500 foot fences? Oh, yeah. That's good, man. Is your high school going to name, your high school's probably going to name your field after you, aren't they? Uh, there's some studs going on uh, out <clears throat> my high school, Matt Morris and Jason Mott. So, yeah, they're can't gonna name it after you. I can't say I'm the only one. Did you? You got three big leaguers out of your high school. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You from? Uh, where, where are you originally from? Uh well, you know, I, I roam around the U.S. And, and hit dangers, but I, you know, I was originally from Indiana. 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 I was gonna guess that. Man. 
<laughs> Why? Because of the sweet accent? Yeah. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, now I'm really waiting for that fastball to come inside on me. Uh, I'd like to see that. Oh, you only use wood bat, right, bro? Yeah, that's right. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, use, I use man stuff. You know, I don't need the metal bat to go yard. You, ever, you ever break one before or no? Oh, hell yeah. I break them over my knee all the time. I'll pull the Bo Jackson and do it over my head. Why? If you only hit dingers, why would you break your bat? Because it's fun. I hit the dinger. I'll bat flip it. When I get back home, I pick it up and break it. Just to let them know. Just show them how strong I am. Then I'll make so you know I'll make somebody go build me another one. Build you another bat. Who builds you ever your bat? Sold, uh, you know, I sometimes I hand carve them. Yeah. You know, otherwise I'll just you know whoever I'm dating at the time I'll make her carve me a couple of bats. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You ever saw one off? Uh, bat. Yeah, I broke a couple my day. Did you ever break that's one over your good. knee? Uh, <laughs> not not strong enough, man. Yeah, you are. You just you, you know what? You just got to believe in yourself, brother. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah, believe in just, myself. It's yeah, not. well, you should. You're in the major leagues. Yeah. Let's go. Throw some strikes. I want that Ken Murphy confidence, man. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to give you. Plus, you don't ha you don't have to face me. So, like, you're not facing yeah. anybody good if you ain't facing me. So yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, brother. Yeah, you look you look like a really good hitter, man. Well, I am. I got. I mean, I got the body of a goddess. Yeah, I can and, tell. Uh, I, I can yeah, tell. It's, my body's a temple full of cheese dogs. You know what I'm saying? I, I can tell that, too. Yeah, and, and sunflower seed shells, because I swallow them sometimes. That's tough. Yeah, that hurts a little, but... You going back to the field after this, or no? Oh, yeah, I'm going back to the field. Hell, I live there. I live rent-free on the field and in the minds of pitchers. I live rent-free there. Sleep in the, you sleep in the dugouts and stuff? Sometimes, yeah. That's good, man. Or, you know, like, Deb will, Deb will come pick me up, and I'll just go crash into her house. If you're that good at the game, why don't you just play in the show, bro? Uh, I got kicked out of the league for fighting Terry Pendleton back in 92 at spring training. It was a real shame, too. I was only eight years old. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about, was about to make my debut. Yeah, that's, that's impressive, man. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, I'll be back one day. I've been make, That's why I'm making these videos, you know, so, uh, so I can get yeah. signed again. Uh, good luck, man. Well, I wish you the best. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, brother. Maybe one day I'll let you come throw me some fastballs in that's the video. Then I'll, like, I'll have a sweet home run reel, you know what I'm saying? Let me know where, bro. Winter time, I'd love to uh, I'd love to challenge you. No editing either, like what you do in all your videos. I'd like to do a live stream. I've not, I don't even know how to edit. I've never done it. You might want to wear like a like a full face covering though, so people don't actually know it's you when I when I start tattooing dingers. Find out. All right, we're gonna we're gonna set it up. Hey, brother, we got to get out of here. I do need a, I do need a prediction before you go though. I said I said 120 strikeouts for you this year. What do you get? What are you What are you gonna predict for yourself? Uh, I ain't got a prediction, man. All right, you heard it here. Guaranteed 120. Yeah, nah, I ain't saying that, bro. <laughs> hope you make the playoff, bro. Stay healthy. I hope you do too, brother. I hope you stay healthy and have a good rest of your year, man. Thank Appreciate that. Appreciate Thanks you coming me. on. Hey, guys, come back next week for the next episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast. Till then, hum that thing in there.